To export my edit, I'm going to click on the sequence up here. In this case, it's Edit 3. I'm going to do a right click, go to Output, and Export to File. I'm going to choose a location, and in this case, I'm going to go to my hard drive. I'm going to go to Exports, and I'm going to keep it as Edit 3, which was its name in the software. Go to Options. And you've got a number of options for export. Some of these I'll be dealing with in later tutorials, particularly the AAF for working with your sound designer and your colorist. But for the moment, we're just going to do basic export settings, say for YouTube, Vimeo, and also just for sending to other people working in other programs. You've got a number of settings here. We're going to go just for the probably straightforward one that most of you might want to know, which is if you're uploading, say, to YouTube, to Vimeo, or you're just sharing a video with somebody on social media. So we're going to click on MP4. We're going to make sure that selected tracks has been selected. And you can deselect inactive tracks if there's nothing on there. That's perfectly fine. Use marks I would leave for the time being. Uh, the image, it was a 2K project, as we can see here. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9. The other elements we are going to leave. The output frame rate was 25p. We want to keep that as it is. Color space, I'll deal with those in other tutorials. Now, the compression is the important one here. The codec you want to go for is H.264. The bit rate here is very high indeed. We can just probably put that at a basic, say, 12 for the bit rate. That would be perfectly fine. You can do a variable bit rate. Um, but for something that hasn't got a great deal of effects, which is a lot of the time what you'd be working with a drama, a constant bitrate is perfectly acceptable. Uh, down here, probably the only thing you want to think about is the mix, whether you want it to be in stereo or mono. Uh, this was recorded purely in mono, and we're going to leave it as that, but you can put it on stereo if you wish, if you've done stereo work. Um, that is probably all you need to know, really, for exporting it as an MP4. So I'm going to click on Save. And when you're ready, you click Save, and that'll do the export, and that'll go into your folder that you've selected. The other one we're going to go to is, we're going to click on Options again. The other one that probably might come up for you of the two is MXF. And MXF, Media Exchange Format, is the most common format for sharing video material or film material at a more professional industry level. But the file sizes are much larger so it's not really appropriate for uploading and viewing on YouTube Vimeo or say social media so MXF we're going to use the selected tracks that's fine you can leave all the other ones unticked the video compression we're going to go for is and we're going to go with DNX's we don't want LB low bandwidth we want high quality I'm going to go for DNX HR HQ and that should be suitable for most of your work we're going to click on that and we're going to go to save and again when you're ready to export you select your folder click on save and the export will be ready to go see you on the next tutorial